Hi, I'm Sean Murray Smith, and we're here at the Saint de Montavie, Montreal, located on St. Peter in Plateau Montréal. And today we're going to prepare a sweet drunk pork, which is a braised flank, accompanied by uh, our lovely cider, Domaine Pinnacle. So we're here at the Jean Talon Market. We're going to pick our produce up to do our sweet drunk pig. The Jean Talon Market is great for uh, fresh, seasonal, local ingredients. There's, there's plenty, there's so many vegetables, so many fruits here, everything's fresh. You just walk in here and you can smell everything, it's wonderful. We're also going to pick up a nice blue cheese and a couple fresh fruits for our salad. Jatala Market, we have some nice white pearl onions, some carrots, some Vidalia sweet onions, some golden washing apples, leeks, rosemary, fresh bay leaves, tarragon, our cider, and of course our pork flank, which we're going to braise a little later, and uh, some nice clean ginger here. So we sliced our apples with our mandolin, and now we're just going to make some matchsticks for our salad. Okay, so here we have our apples, they're mashed thick. We're gonna put a little sherry vinegar on to keep the color. If I don't do this, they're gonna turn brown and the salt's, and it's not gonna look very good. So here we have our, our seasoned pork flank. We're gonna take our ice cider, we're gonna measure about 300 milliliters. We're going to take our ginger. Our Chinese long pepper. Some a little bit more salt. Rosemary. Our bay leaves. Cider finally. We're just going to let this marinate. The six hours in your fridge, and you can turn the flank over to get both sides marinated equally. Okay, so I'm gonna marinate. I've chosen ingredients such as rosemary, ginger, the Chinese long pepper, and and bay leaves, and and all these things they really accent the pork, and they also really accent apples, which is obviously in our cider. So we're just gonna get our pan really hot here. Canola oil. And you don't need too much because the pork's going to have a lot of excess in it. A little dangerous, take off the, the excess juice in your marinade. You want to get a good sear, you want a nice golden brown. Here I chose a fattier piece of pork. But what, what's going to happen is our cider is going to cut right through that. The acetones of the cider are going to play a big role with the fat. So we'll be sauteing our mirepoix. We're just going to sweat it out a little bit. Once it starts to trans, become translucent. Okay, now we're just going to pour our mirepoix over top of our grapes. We get all nice and around there. You see, it's nice and covered. It's going to keep a lot of moisture in the pork. Now we'll deglaze our pan with our ice wine and our herbs. Ice side. Sorry. Okay. You could use pork broth, but today I'm going to use a little water. It's a. Uh, it's, uh, a little intense, uh, the cider, so, and with everything else here, we're just kind of creating our own stock. You want about three, three-fourths of liquid around your, your piece of meat. We're just going to wrap this with tin foil and throw it in the oven. 
So here we have our braise. We have it properly covered with tin foil. We're going to put it in the oven about 300 to 310 degrees for about three to three and a half hours. So with our braise out of the oven, we have our juices here that I've strained and I've reduced a little bit, quite a bit actually. We're going to take our, our pearl onions. We're just going to sort of gently sweat them out a little bit, get them a little soft and take a little of the intensity out of them. And we're going we're gonna to add them to our, uh, our reduction. So our, our onions have a little bit of color on them. They've sweated out. They're a lot more tender. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. So I much prefer to have a clean, oil-free sauce. We're going to add our reduction. I'm just going to let it simmer lightly. Okay, so here we have our braised flank. It's tender, it's sliced, and it's going to be seared in this pan. We want a little bit higher heat than that. Not too high, so you don't want to burn it too much. There's a lot of fat, so we just wanted to get a little bit caramelized on its edge. I have a little bit of oil in here, but you don't want too much because a lot of this fat's going to start to come out. Again, we're always removing the excess fat. I'm just going to deglaze it with a little bit of our, of our ice on it. Okay, so we've deglazed our pork flank, we've got some good color on it, I've deglazed it with our ice cider, and now we're just going to let it sit and get a little bit more time there. So now we're ready to plate, so we're just going to put our salad together, I have some fresh tarragon here. Our apples, which we've already marinated. A little bit of our sweet onion, which I've just sliced very thinly. Our tarragon. There's enough acidity in the apples now, we'll just add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. We'll toss it up, and we'll start to plate the process. We'll take our market cheese here. It's lovely blue, very subtle, not too sharp. Just kind of crumble it over the top. Alright, so here we have our flank. Just sear it to perfection. Just cut it in half. It's just good. Nice onion sauce. Top it off with some nice edible flowers we picked out today. I'm gonna like the bride because it's really good.